Hi, I'm Adam Heine. I am a writer and designer for Torment Tides of Numenera. You might not remember me. I was a scripter on Planescape Torment, and then I was a designer for Black Isles Torn, which you've never played because it was cancelled 12 years ago. And then sometime after that I left everything to raise a family of orphans in Thailand. Did you think I was joking? I didn't really... Hmm. Oh. I guess you guys want to know what we're doing about choice and consequence, and what the heck are the tides of Numenera? Well, let's start there. The tides are like our alignment system. See, one of the cool things about Planescape Torment was how your alignment shifted based on your actions. Good versus evil, but also lawful versus chaotic. Your words and your deeds took you down a certain path, a path that you chose. Now, we're not tied to that alignment system anymore, so we thought, why not take it further? We asked ourselves, what are people remembered for? Because our game is about legacies. And we came up with, with concepts like wisdom, compassion, zeal, power, justice. The five tides embody these concepts and more, which is why we use colors to represent them. The indigo tide, for example, means more than just justice. It can also mean a desire to do the greater good, or an end justifies the means mentality. The result is a more nuanced system, even more nuanced than Planescape's. It doesn't judge your motivations, but your actions. The tide system doesn't ask whether an act is good or bad, it asks whether that action matters. Okay, so what does this look like? Well, let's go back to the bloom. The bloom is kind of a slum, dark alleys, twisted streets, and deep down inside you are in the tunnels of this creature called the Stika. A group of men stop you, thieves who have come for the creature's eggs, and before your conversation with them gets very far, a group of Stika attack you both. Now you have a number of choices here, and all of which will affect your tides. You could join one side or the other in the fight, pushing the red tide, maybe the gold tide as well. You could try talking to the men, or to the Stika, and use reason, persuasion, or threats to make one or both sides stand down. Each of these choices will affect a different tide, maybe a combination of them. And then each choice will have its own consequences within the area. If you help the men, then they might help you later. If you help the Stikus, then they might help you later as well. The queen's not so crazy about the thieves. Kill them all, and you can earn their admiration, even if you don't earn their aid. And then these shifts in your tides will ultimately decide your legacy. Use your fist to help others, and you will find that you're an avenger or a champion. If you use your words instead, you might be a pathfinder or a guide or a paragon. Each one will give you bonuses for certain items, different reactions from characters who can perceive that kind of thing, and most importantly, different abilities in the form of your character's focus. Anything from skill bonuses, to casting illusions, to encasing your entire body in fire or in ice. The tides will also affect your companions, but I think I'm going to let someone else talk about that. So listen, thanks for watching, and thank you for pledging. We really love Torment, both the game that we made 14 years ago and the game that we're planning now. More than anything, we just want to do it right, and we cannot do that without your help, so thank you. Updated my alignment system.